From being rude to demanding more money, Sarah Jessica Parker can be a lot to handle. So that's why we're going to be talking about celebrities who hated working with Sarah Jessica Parker. Now starting off strong, we have Kim Cattrall. The two stars may have played good friends on Sex and the City, but it turns out Kim and Sarah were nowhere as close in real life. Rumors of bad blood between the two co-stars began when Kim refused to participate in a third Sex and the City movie. Then in an interview in 2018, Kim called out Sarah in particular. She said, I really think she could have been nicer. I don't know what her issue is. I never have. Things escalated even further in 2018 when Sarah offered her condolences to her co-star after Kim's brother passed away, and Kim responded with a bitter Instagram post dismissing Sarah's words. I don't need your love or support at this time, at Sarah Jessica Parker. You are not my family. You are not my friend, she posted. Now Sarah, however, dismissed the idea that there was ever a cat fight in an interview with Vulture that same year. I've always held Kim's work in high regard and always appreciative of her contributions. Now, in the reboot of the show, and just like that, Kim wasn't asked to be a part of the revival, even though it features almost every series regular from the original show. Now, in the season 2 finale though, Kim did join the show and reprise her role, so who knows if their relationship is better now. Then there's Anya Taylor-Joy. Okay, so these two didn't work together, but they had an extremely strange encounter that I just had to share. Actor Anya Taylor-Joy was one such a fan who approached Sarah Jessica Parker, and she was a little embarrassed by the interaction, recounting the story during an appearance on the Drew Barrymore show in November 2022. I was going through a really bad breakup and I was like, hey, I just have to tell you, like, I've been watching you and Big and it's giving me hope, Anya explained. And she was like, oh, that you'll get back together. And I was like, no, that I will survive, that I can like move on from this and that it will be okay. Now, apparently Sarah didn't take too kindly to this and said, okay, that's, uh, I'm gonna get in my car now. Of course, it remains unknown why Sarah wasn't quite sure how to respond to Anya's comments about Harry and Big. She could have just said, ugh, I'm so glad and carried on. But being caught off guard was probably the reason for this strange response, and Anya admitted to feeling pretty awkward about the exchange. The star did precursor her story by telling Barrymore, it was a really bad moment for me, suggesting the meeting wasn't all that she hoped it would be. Yikes. <laughs> Now we have Robert Downey Jr. As we all know, Robert Downey Jr. has had some substance issues and this got in the way of his career and his relationships. Sarah Jessica Parker had a seven year relationship with Robert, which ended in 1991. Parker said that her attempts to be the steadfast presence for Downey made her feel like a parent, though she was in her early 20s and both actors were struggling to make their names in the industry. People around him would be dismissive of me, but I had given him stability and tried to create a steady heartbeat that allowed him to show up on time, she said. That made me angry and embarrass me. Downey, through a rep, told the magazine that he had great respect for Sarah. Speaking about the relationship, he said, I was so selfish, he admitted. I liked to drink and I had a drug problem and I didn't jibe with Sarah Jessica because it's the furthest thing from what she is. Sarah Jessica would pull me out of a hangover and we'd go pick out furniture together. She is a force of nature, he said. Moving on, we have her staff. Now, some of Sarah's emails were leaked and it appears that she had some specific rules for her staff. She instructs her staff how household to refill a tiny 1.75 ounce container of Vaseline with a small spoon or knife for her children to use. She stresses that the refill jar can't be too big so it doesn't clutter the house, and the cutlery used to dispense the Vaseline must be hand washed using a paper towel and then go through the dishwasher. She also requests that a bottle of face wash and Neutrogena body wash be continually replenished for her son, James Wilkie, in his shower. But she insists the staff not buy multiples of anything and instead wants them to check the levels of each product daily only replacing them once the product has completely run out. Now another email included her shopping list for Taco Tuesday, which included whatever meat goes in tacos. Yeah. <laughs> then when the New York family had pink eyes, she sent the team specific instructions on how eye drops should be given to her eight year old twin daughters at the time, Tabitha and Marion, including how hard they should blink. Yeah. <laughs> Next up is Oprah. Sarah was once on Oprah's show, and Oprah's gushing all over her, telling her how great it is that she's taking care of the family and how much work it must be. Sarah said, though, without missing a beat, I have a lot of help. I mean, I have a lot of people helping me, which of course is true. She's a multi millionaire Hollywood celebrity, married to another multi millionaire Hollywood celebrity, and she has her own household staff cooking and cleaning and taking care of her kids and running errands and all of that. And she wasn't afraid to admit it and give props to the mothers who 
don't. But Oprah wasn't having it. Oprah doesn't like it when it's pointed out that very rich, pampered celebrities have it a whole lot easier than regular people who do actual work for a living. Now, Oprah kept trying to get Sarah to admit that being a mother was a lot of hard, difficult, grueling work, and Sarah just wouldn't say that. She kept saying that it's not that hard when you've got a big staff of people helping. Seems like Oprah doesn't like her for telling the truth. And finally, we have all her Sex in the City co-stars. Now, fans of Sex in the City have always adored the chemistry between the show's four main characters, but Jessica's Carrie remained the lead throughout the duration of Sex in the City, and this was allegedly reflected in their salaries. According to Us Weekly, Sarah was reportedly earning as much as $3 million per episode, while her castmates were allegedly taking home approximately $350,000 an episode, which is just crazy. Now, the spinoff, and just like that, sees the trio reportedly taking home $1 million per episode, proving that negotiations had moved a lot since 2004. Now, during an appearance on the Origins with James Andrew Miller podcast, executive producer Michael Patrick King defended the disparity, saying, the show doesn't exist if Sarah Jessica wasn't the blonde star of the show. I guess for Kim, it didn't matter how much the raise became if there was never parody, but there was never going to be parody. Yikes. I cannot imagine doing pretty much the same amount of work as someone, but they're getting paid 10 times more than me. Now that's honestly just disgusting, and I can't believe Sarah's co-stars put up with that. Well, that's all for our list of the celebrities who hated working with Sarah Jessica Parker. Now it sounds like she can be a straight up nightmare sometimes, but hopefully she gets better at treating people nicer, but who knows?